There are currently 24 Democrats running for president, with more joining the race every day. I sent Alana Harkin and Mike Rubens into the field to learn how Americans are handling the flood of candidates. The majority of Americans are now running for president. While that's exciting for them, what about the handful who aren't? So do you have election fever? No, there are just too many people. I can't fit that many people in my brain. This market is so saturated with all these candidates. So I'm brain farting every day, realizing that I don't know what the fuck to do with these idiots. I'm excited with some of the candidates, I guess. Like who? Um, okay. Can you name any of the candidates right now? Uh, let's see, you have, uh, of course, Donald's running again. Sure, you know. but of the but Democrats. Democrats, Democrats. Uh, Pence. Mike Pence, is he? No. Cory <laughs> Booker, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Joe Biden, then, um, let's see. Peter Dinklage. Ah, uh, yes, him also. How about your Betos or Kamala's? Kamala's, that's a female, right? What's the first name? That What's is a right? female. I'm mean, gonna think of her first name. It could rhyme with Kamala. Oh, could be. Camila. Camila. With the addition of Camila Kamala, Mike Pence, and Pete. Buttsigig? Yes, Pete Buttsigig, the Democratic slate of candidates is edging toward infinity. While it may sound empowering to have the option to vote for Oprah's spiritual advisor, a friendly woodland creature, a human vape pen, an NPR Sasquatch, a lima bean with a side part, or dozens of others, too many options can paralyze us. It's what psychologist Barry Schwartz called the paradox of choice, and it can lead to terrible decisions. I guess it would be Biden. Why? I meant why? Because I know Joe Biden. What do you mean you know him? Like well, he touched, he's... you smelt your hair? No. You touch your shoulders? Did he no. hug you too tight just to feel your boobs? No. Just saying Biden is the one I know the best. That's all I'm saying. And if we're not going with the comfort of those we know, we often just judge books by their faces. Would you vote for this person for president? Yeah. Do you know who this person is? No. No, I'm not going to vote for that face. Because it's a female face? No, I, females are fine, but I don't trust that face. There's something in her eyes that I don't trust. A competency? Um, she has Trump lips. This person has Trump lips. Yeah, she's doing the, the thing that Trump does. So when you look at this person, you think of Donald Trump, and it turns you off. Yes. Wow. What about this lady? I would probably pick the other lady before I pick her. Oh, why? She just looks a little too hardcore. Yeah. Like, st like, don't take life so seriously. Right. Just needs a little bit of love. Mm -hmm. I mean, she looks professional, though. Yeah, she looks really professional. professional. One thing's clear, the number of candidates running for their next book deal has us paralyzed. What I normally do when I vote, go in the voting booth, I find the area that I'm gonna be hitting my levers, and I do one of these and start hitting. Great, okay. We're fucked. To unfuck us, we recruited our two most overwhelmed voters to make this vital decision using logic, reason, and... Ah, just messing with you. Let's impulse shop. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Dale Coupons, and today we're going shopping. We've reduced each candidate to a simple grocery store product. Items like Cory Booker Diet Obama Soda, Marion Williamson I Believe in Miracles Whip, and Pirates Buttigieg. It's up to you to pick the candidate who can beat this aspiring war criminal before America's time runs out. On your mark, get set, democracy! Run! And they're off. So many choices. How will they decide? Ooh, Beto. He is very popular. Everybody loves him. Ooh, bandwagon bias. Choosing what you think other people like. Foolproof. Get over here, all Harris. Camille Harris. It's Kamala. Don't screw up another name. Bob Acker. Well, right. It's Klobuchar, damn it. Wait a minute. Uh... Will Shalina choose the Hickenlooper mayonnaise, the Delaney mayonnaise, or the Ryan mayonnaise? I don't know who any of these people are. Oh, Hickenlooper. I like Hickenlooper. I can remember his name, Hickenlooper. The familiarity factor. Candidates with name recognition pull up to 10 percentage points higher. Come on, baby. What's Itch going to do? Ryan. Oh, baby. Ooh, he went for the tallest tub of mayonnaise. No surprise there. The tallest candidate wins the majority of U.S. elections. Because that's rational. Hold on, not so fast, shoppers. These lanes 
have gone express. There can only be one nominee. That means I need you to pick only one item out of your cart and get it to your teammate before time runs out. Five, four, three, two, one. That's time. You know, I've been doing this show a long time, but today was a real dump fest. Tell me what happened. Well, I picked Tim Ryan because I thought he was a young looking guy, the biggest tub. So I figured he's gonna be our next president. That's terrible reasoning. <laughs> Shalina, what did you end up with? Bernie White. Bernie Sanders Medicare for all purpose wipes. I couldn't find Biden. I couldn't find uh, Warren. So I did the best that I could do. Hope you can find your car. Well, there you have it. Here at Candidate Sweep, it's not about who wins and loses. It's about the friends we make along the way. That said, if you're running and you don't actually think you can be president, get the fuck out! We'll be right back.